perpetual motion. I'm going to read this card because I want to understand it more. You are growing, changing and evolving every second. And you are the catalyst for this change. You can choose to stagnate, go against the flow or flow with the universe in these changes times. It's your choice. When you are not flowing with the universe, you will know it. Life will be a constant drag and endless fight. Don't mistake challenges for not being in the flow with the universe. At times you are given challenges to push you to deep digger, to expand yourself more. Use this card as a tool to guide you in moving your life in the directions where constant flow and change occur harmonies, harmoniously and with synchronicity. When your life is flowing in alignment with your soul purpose, you will be uplifted and supported energetically, recognize the phases of movement and flow in your life and learn to harness these for spiritual growth. Beautiful. So, a, a very great message here is to be in flow, to understand the flow of things, and not be in overflow or underflow. But being in flow is listening to your intuition. And if it doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel good. But there's so many things that feels good. And if we give our time and energy to the things that feel good, we change. We don't only change for ourselves, but we change the whole collective. Because when we change, we encourage others to change as well. When we mature, others subconsciously mature as well. Because taking the leap as a leader of your own ancestral lineage, standing as a powerful woman or a powerful man, in a rich perspective of what a good life is, what it means to eat clean food, what it means to serve homemade, nutritious gifts that are created with the heart. We really have this beautiful life right now and by working with our gifts we are playing with all the cards in the deck. If we only play with the three or four cards that we know so well, we stop progressing. It's first when we choose to play with the cards that we feel insecure about that we feel are our worst cards, that we truly change. When we go deep into the things that hurt, the things that we cannot explain, you know why? Because we also carry our past lives we also carry our ancestors' mistakes and we are not only here to solve our own solutions or mistakes or successes or wins, but we're also here to clear the air for everyone who walked before us. So when we choose to focus on something that needs more light, like something that makes you feel 
alive, like singing or writing or working out or doing that little extra thing in your day that just, you know, changes your mood completely. That is what you should focus on. Focus on the potential your whole character has when that seed blossoms. The seed you only worked in the shadows with or the seed that you only had with you when it was only you. But that seed speaks to more than just you. That seed speaks to the consciousness of the world. Choose wisely where you lay your energy. We got spirit of gratitude. What makes you grateful? What makes you feel gratitude for what you were given from your ancestors? I was reading a little while ago something that said you didn't only get bad things from your ancestors. Know that you got a lot of good things as well. So before we enter this new year, please step into yourself as complete. Ten of coins, ten of cups. Ace of swords, ace of wands. King of cups, queen of cups. The pentacles are yours and it coins. The dreams and the wishes are to be accomplished. Infinity is awareness. And your vibration is rising. Remember, you are the oracle. You are the universe in human form. Source energy. and ready to answer the call. What is your soul asking you to do? Only you know what your soul and your mission is. But the truth is that your mission is supposed to also uplift others. It is not a one direction shape. If you are multidimensional, star seed whatever you go under you should understand that the gift you have is big enough to change the world by raising your own vibration and consciousness you're also changing others thank you so much for listening and i wish you all the best May everything go your way in 2024. And even when you feel like they don't, they are tearing down for a reason. Tower moments, they happen for a reason. And towers can also be a pleasant experience. Not every tower in the tarot deck is horrible. If you learn to flow with the energies that are there in that tower moment. Your life can enrich in many more ways. Thank you so much.